essentially it's a set of laws. It's just a bunch of Boolean laws called the Morgan's laws. And they're based on this thing right here. Okay. Now, if you wanted, you could just memorize all of them, but like which one's equivalent with the other one. Um, but say you don't even know, like it's, it would be, this would be on a multiple choice part anyway, you'd be able to pick out what the answer would be anyway. Um, so I wouldn't memorize them. Some teachers have you can do that though. So it doesn't really matter. It's completely up to you. Basically, if you fill this out, or actually let's just do it together. I was going to write it. No, I should probably still write on it, but we will also do it together. Um, do this. Blow this up. As a class, if we can just start filling this out, you don't need to write this down necessarily, um, but you do have to understand the thinking that goes behind it. Um, you're going to be do you're going to be doing an entire activity on this as well. So, uh, again, if you want to write it down, you can write it down during the activity. But right now, I just want your brains, just your brains on this. So that first one, true and true, and there's a not in front of it. So not true and true. What what, what should go here? Just yell it out. We're all friends. False. I'm just going to write it out. Okay, what would go here then? False. Okay, so I'm showing you that these are equivalent statements. Okay, um, so this one is what? Anybody? True. What about this one? True. I kind of already said they're equivalent, so you kind of know where this is going now. All right, what about the next one? True. This is also going to be true. False and false is going to be what? True. Because it's false and false, this is going to be false in here, and then it's not false is true. Okay, and then not false is true or true. True or true is also true. Okay, that's what I would do. I would not try to memorize all of these. Okay? We're not going to say which of the following is not one of De Morgan's laws from what I've seen. And I've, and I've studied the AP test down from, uh, I think it was 2010, the last 10 years. I, I'm, I need to look at more of them, but. I've never seen where it says what you know. Which of the following is to Morgan's laws? It's not like a memory test, so they're not going to ask you that stuff. But if you really want to, uh, you know, do that, then whatever, it's up to you. Um, there's little tricks for it where, like, if you distribute the not to each of these, the and becomes an or, and all this other stuff. When I was at the AP workshop, they were talking about that. Again, I, I would not do it that way, but it's completely up to you. 